Hey guys, Milk Cookies and Games here. Welcome to another episode of our Gates of Hell Gemenda tutorial series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at paratroopers. Now, there's going to be uh, three parts to this, um, all in separate videos, just to make things a little bit more easier. Uh, so the first one, as seen by the title, it is paratroopers without a plane. So there are a few missions on the workshop where people have use this method because um, they're not using any mods or very few mods and there's no uh, C-47s or appropriate aircraft that were used for paratroopers, okay? Um, so I'll quickly show the result. And he comes in, lands. Now he's on player two side. And then after six seconds, once he's landed, he becomes player one. So the player can then take charge. All right. All right, sweet. So let's begin the process. So first things first, we're going to need a soldier. All right, sweet. Now we've got a soldier placed down. We need the parachute, which you'll find in service, paratrooper attach, and you want the paratrooper uh, attach with the paratrooper, the parachute, sorry, in the air. <clears throat> Let's have it like that. All right, so the next thing you want to do is give the, the unit a tag. We're going to give it the player tag. That way we can then change him from player two to player one. Next thing you want to do is select the unit, hold shift and select the parachute. Um, you want to press the semicolon, I believe it is, under the escape button. Press G and you're looking for G underscore link. So if you press tab, it'll automatically select it. Then click enter. As you can see, it attaches it, attaches the unit to the parachute. So now we're going to select the parachute, give it a tag, and we're going to. Oops. So give it a tag and then a hidden tag. Um, now, say. For example, you forgot to add the player tag to the unit. Instead of um, unlinking him from the parachute, you can actually just select him. If you click the unit, you can um, select him. So there you go. And then you can actually give him the tag. All right, you can do that with pretty much any uh, vehicle as well. So if you put a unit uh, in a Jeep or an aircraft and you can um, select the unit through the window or, or such, you can actually then give them individual tags. Saves you unlinking them or um, taking them out of the vehicle. All right, sweet. So we got that done. Next thing's the triggers. All right, so first things first, we're gonna add a delay. Now I've got the first dude coming in after five seconds. So we're gonna give him 5.5. .5. Um, actually, we'll make it six seconds. You guys can do whatever you want for delay, or you don't even have to have a delay. It's up to you guys. Then you're going to go entity, entity state. We're going to give it the paratroopers tag that we've put on the parachute. Then you're going to go um, add the paratrooper tag here. Inactive, you want off, and the rest can be on. Uh, this one leave as is. This pretty much uh, determines whether or not the unit um, has invincibility or not. So just leave that. Okay. Then you're going to go add and go uh, entity again and add the effect command. And in here, you're going to put our trooper uh, and then give it the same tag as prior. 
Did I give that the appropriate tag? Yes, I did. Next thing is another entity state. This time we're going to go remove hidden tag. Same options as before and the same tag as before in the selector. Then you're going to do another effect command. And in here we're going to put start. Same tag as before. Uh, and then we're going to add another delay of six seconds. And we're going to add, go to actor and add the play command. We want to set it to player one. And, the same, and this time we want to add the player tag. All right? Because if you add the parachute, the parachute tag, um, what happens is it will not change the unit to player one because the parachute disappears, right? So make sure you use the tag that's attached to the unit itself. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> All right, pretty much done. So let's actually have a look at what it looks like. There you go. And that's how you create a paratrooper without an aeroplane. Um, you could obviously, as they're coming down, add a sound command and put a aeroplane sound so it sounds like there's an aeroplane flying over. Um, or you can script aeroplanes flying over and just have this paratrooper come in. Um, there are, yeah, there are a few ways of doing that. It's pretty easy. Um, uh, but apart from that, guys, that pretty much concludes uh, this video. Um, if you have any questions or you're a little bit confused or anything like that, put it in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to assist you guys. Uh, the next one will be paratroopers with a plane, but more of a basic version. Um, but when the plane hits the emit zone, it's just going to spawn all the paratroopers and they'll come down at the same time. And then after that, we'll do an advanced um, version with the airplane, but we'll have the units come down individually um, to create a more realistic effect. Okay, so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.